Hi guys, I want to introduce you to Mary, and Mary owns Back to the Fuchsia. I always thought it was Back to Fuchsia. So I've been dropping the the forever, so I am so sorry. <laughs> it didn't matter, I still found you every time. So that, that's it's what's pretty important. long, but it is a, it's a pun of play on the 80s film. So. Yes, True. love that idea. So how long have you been doing this? So um, we opened about eight years ago now, actually almost exactly eight. Oh, right? congratulations. Yeah, like I think it was mid-May nice. 2014. Yeah. How scary was that? Because that's a big step to say, okay, I'm just going to take what I love and what have you and throw it out there. Well, our landlord was actually really good. So um, when I approached him, he was like, I mean, if you want to try, uh, this area ha wasn't, you know, built up at all at that time yeah. and he was thinking you know if you want like a six month lease just to see whether you can get a foothold you can make something happen then you know give her a go and that's awesome yeah he wasn't you know charging me exceptional rates so it was possible to make something happen in the oab then right yeah it was a matter of making it happen so that's yeah. the hard part so how does this work where do you get everything well i mean a lot of people do contact us now when they think that they have something fun and they want it to have the right audience because sometimes if you're, I don't know, donating it to Goodwill or if it ends up just, you know, going into a dumpster, they, they don't be always know what it is that people are looking for, mm -hmm. so they'll give us a shout. Um, I mean, I don't do the clothing component that is Melinda, the sentimentalist, and so she does her own thing and she has her own sources. But yeah, a lot of people just let us know when they have something. Very cool, very mm -hmm. cool. Um, right now in the store, is there any pieces that pop out in your head that are your favorites or that is so recent, new or different? Like, uh, I mean, you know right I mean? behind you here, there's a 1950s liquor cabinet. It's that big high board that's on the wall you see oh that's similar so cool. german um like record players that will have like little bars in them so it's kind of like the big boy of that one and i don't think i've ever seen one before no i don't think i've ever seen i've seen that wood before and i've yeah. seen the style but i've never seen that's amazing I so mean, how much is that going for that one actually just sold it was 850. 850. Yeah, I mean, it's hard to put prices sometimes on things that you've never right. seen before. Yeah. Um, and it's so big, like it's a big piece for 850. Well, I mean, it's an anchor piece, so you kind of build your room around something like that. But yeah. yeah, you definitely True. have to have the space for right. it. Right. Yeah. And this set here that we're sitting on right now, which is my photographer's favorite, it may come home. I hope her husband isn't watching. Um, anyway, uh, what does this one go for? Because this is so cool retro. Uh, this one is 250 for the set. Um, and honestly, it's in pretty good shape. But with vintage, there are, you know, considerations because it had a life before it got to sure. us. So there's like a little bit of wear. But yeah, I think the cool factor kind of it's perfect. Yes, it's very Elvis. I think Elvis would love this, don't you? Oh, yeah. Right? We had an Elvis mo moment earlier. There's an Elvis picture on the other Sorry. side of the wall, too. Did you see that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, mirror. Yeah, this is one of our favorite stores. We've already kind of done some shots in here. I was like um, scooping in here, and my things are like looking more so the hats get me and the luggage, like the old. Old beaten up luggage and for no reason because you're not taking it anywhere really it's just becomes a decor thing right I mean, good for decor but good for storage and yeah. the leather you know the more worn the leather in some cases just the better the feel oh. the better the aesthetic right yeah. yeah it's amazing like it gives you a true feeling of something and then there's all the little knick-knacky things that are just like I mean I think if you haven't been to this store you need to come in and see everything because this is not one of those places where you go, I know what they have. You would never know what they have. This much change all the time. It is a constantly changing landscape. So, you know, things are meant to stay for a long period of time. They should be exciting. Someone should scoop them and then we should have something else coming in to 
change everything around. Yeah, it's amazing. Every time I come here, I feel like my eyes are not working fast and quick enough for me to get around the room to see everything I want to see um, and kind of do that pre-shopping. What's going in that room when I, you know, finish decorating it or whatever, when I finish renovating it is more likely. There's so much to see here. Well, it is very layered and because it is constantly moving, you kind of have to get your bearings first and then you start seeing individual items. But there are certainly things like this set that draw your eye and your mm -hmm. attention. Yeah. yeah, yeah, this is a fantastic kitchen set. And then the couch we were talking about earlier, how mm -hmm. light it was. I was surprised I could lift it right up. I was like, that's a miracle. Like so easy peasy, but just so, so much to look at. So much to like, this is, this is one of my favorite stores in London to um, come in and browse and it's um, to come in and browse and just see what's going to fit for whatever happens to jump out at me, which is super cool. Vintage is really cool just because there was so much variety. So mm -hmm. now there might be a few different places doing a few different styles, but it all ends up looking kind of the same. Whereas you might have an artist or an artisan who is making something different, something they'd add their own mark in some way or they would take it in a different direction and I think that there was maybe more flexibility to have that kind of individual take on different styles and certainly you end up finding new things all the time when you're in vintage yeah. you see new things that you hadn't seen before like the high board or you know this egg chair set you know do you find it hard to let go of some things I mean of course you don't get into this because you were not. You're a hater. Yeah, you're I mean, a, it's like, I'm just out here for the cash. It's not because your, I, yeah. you know, I don't need any of this. I can just pass it. Oh, I, I look at some of this and I'm like, maybe, maybe it will fit in my house and I could just move that other thing around. Um, I would think this would be uh, super dangerous for me, for sure. Someone would have to. I'd have to have a rule, which of course I'm not going to follow my own rules really well. I'm going to have to have someone else give me the rule well, because this would be difficult for sure. I, I find it very easy in some cases because I know that there is an enthusiastic person coming in and loving the thing and giving True. it a good home. And in some cases better than the home I could have like, you know, <laughs> squeeze them squeeze in. Like, it's gonna fit. <laughs> no. It's gonna be in the center where you're squeezing it in somewhere because you're desperate to hang on to exactly. it. Exactly. So you end up making a lot of friends in this business who are also enthusiasts, who are yeah. going to, you know, love that thing that wasn't quite right for you, but is amazing. Right? Yeah. How do you like being in this area, in this neighborhood, Old East Village? I mean, it has really come around. I mean, you've seen the way that the Old East Village has sort of blossomed in recent years and just all of the enthusiasm, the vibe that's happening for the businesses up and down the street and the, and the community in general. Yeah. I, I mean, I think it's, it's wonderful. Yeah, yeah. Me too. I love it here. I love it here. Um, thanks for doing this interview. Really oh, appreciate it. Good to see you. <laughs> We're really glad to be here shopping again too. So. <laughs> Double double whammy. This well, is awesome. You get the behind the scenes yeah. shop, right? Day clothes. That's right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. This is like very sly of us here today. <laughs> very good. Well, stay cool. It's a hot day, and uh, yeah, thanks so much. Really appreciate good it. Good to see you. Yeah, thank you. Good to see you too. Mm -hmm. ah. <laughs>